Are you struggling to motivate yourself to exercise following an indulgent festive period? Well, Happy New Year because I have the perfect mini workout to kickstart your physical activity again. Hi everyone and welcome to Exercise for Health. I'm Richard and I have a short routine to get you moving to build your energy levels, work on your mobility and get you active again in 2022 or for whenever you're watching this video. If you're new to this channel, we offer tips, advice and exercises each week to help you manage your health condition with physical activity. So go ahead and tap the subscribe button below and the bell icon if you want to be notified of when we upload a new video. Now it will be best to do this routine in the morning as it's light in terms of aerobic activity and the six mobility exercises progressively get more intense as we work from one to six and then back to one in a pyramid fashion, which will take about eight to 10 minutes. You only need a bit of space to do this, so let's get started. Right, nice easy one to get you started off with and that's gonna be heel toe lifts. So stand with your feet about shoulder width wide and then just gonna lift the heels up off the ground so you're going up onto the balls of the feet drop the heels down and then see if you can lift the toes back up. So we're going up onto the balls of the feet and then up onto the heels. So a little bit of balance with this one and it's a nice easy one just to get started. So we're going to mobilize around the ankle joint and also just start to activate some of the muscles in the lower leg. So we're going to do about 45 seconds for each of these exercises. Remember we're going from one to six and then we'll revert back to number one again. So as you lift the heels up, come up as high as you can. There's no tempo involved with this one. And then pull the toes up away from the floor. Right then, next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do side stepping, heel kicks to your bottom. So basically we're lifting the heel up towards your bottom as you move from side to side. As you do this, make sure that we're not lifting the knee up in front, so we're not gonna flex the hip. We wanna try and keep the knee back behind the hip so we can open up the muscles across the front of the hip and the front of the thigh. So you're just gonna gently move from side to side flicking the heels up to the bottom. So again, not much movement with this one, a little bit more than the first one, and it will gradually start to bring the heart rate up as well. So you will find by the time we get to the sixth exercise, you'll feel your heart rate up a little bit higher. All right, last few seconds for this one. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is do a knee raise up towards the opposite elbow. So we're gonna introduce a twist to the spine so as you raise one knee up, I'm twisting towards that side of the body to see if I can get up, come up towards the elbow. Don't worry if you can't actually reach the elbow joint. If you want to, you can just bring it up to the wrist or up to the hand, depending on your mobility of your hip joint. We're just trying to get that twist with the movement of the knee. Good, so you should feel those muscles around the hips working now. Last few seconds on this one. Okay, the next one we're gonna do is an arm raise with the toe tap to the back. So for this one, you want your palms of your hands facing each other. And then we're just gonna raise one arm up as one arm goes back and also open up the front of that hip and then switch it. So we're going from one side to the other side. So we're really starting to work through the range of movement in your shoulder. So again, just go as far as you can, trying to keep the arms pretty much straight and try and keep the hip forward. So keep the body upright so we're not allowing the body to go forwards as you do the toe tap to the back. Keep the body upright so we open up the front of the hip. Last few seconds. Right, the next one's gonna be straight leg lifts. So I'm gonna raise the leg up to the front, step back, step back, step forwards raise the opposite leg. Now, depending on your flexibility of the muscles on the back of your legs, you might be able to see if you can get your toes to reach the opposite hand as you come up. If not, you can just go to the shin or even to the knee. Now, I'm doing this little step routine in between just to alternate the feet between the left and the right. But if that's too confusing, you can just do it on the spot, raising one leg and then the other leg if you prefer to do it that way. I'm just gonna do this little step routine in the middle. Last few seconds on this one. Okay, 
So we're on the last one, sixth one. This is where we're gonna do a step across lunge and we're gonna reach across with the opposite arm. So I step and reach. So as I step back, again, I'm trying to keep the body upright, keep this reg leg relatively straight so you can feel the stretch across the front of the hip and then reach out with the arm, step back, and then as you go across the other way, reach. So we're getting that spine to twist. You should be feeling a little bit more breathless now because this one's a little bit more aerobic. Reach across as you step out. Again, we're not looking at a tempo with this one, just keep it nice and steady. Working more on that mobility, get the energy levels up. Right, that's the last one on that one. We're gonna revert back down again. So we're gonna go back to the straight leg lifts with the steps in between if you wish, or you can just do it on the spot, alternating left and right. So try and keep the leg straight as you do this one at the knee, and you should feel that stretch come in down the back of the leg. Good, how are you feeling now? Last few seconds on this one. Okay, now we're going back into that arm raise with the toe taps. Remember, palms facing together. So the thumbs leading as you raise the arm up over your head. Try and keep the elbow straight. So we're working through the mobility on your shoulder. At the same time as you do the toe tap back without leaning the body forward. So keep the body upright. Again, okay, we're not working through tempo, we're just trying to work through your range of movement so we can access that level of mobility that you've got. Good. Last few seconds on this one. Brilliant, we're gonna go back into the knee to the opposite elbow, so with a twist, without falling over. So really bring that knee up as high as you can. So we're flexing the hip. See if you can introduce that twist. So as my left knee comes up, I'm twisting my body to the left. As the right knee comes up, I'm twisting my body to the right. Good. As we get through these last few exercises, you'll start to feel now your breathing rate recover. So your heart rate's gone up to the sixth exercise and it's come back down to the first. Right, let's go back into that side-stepping heel flicks. So we're just flicking the heel up to the bottom. Remember not to bring this knee up forwards. So get that flick so you feel that dynamic stretch of the muscles on the front of the leg and then the front of the hip. Good, last 10 seconds on this one. Okay, let's go into that last one then, the one we did first of all. So feet are shoulder width wide, lifting the heels up off the ground, and then lift the toes back off the ground. So we're gonna lift the heels up, and then onto the heels, lifting the toes back up. A bit of balance again involved with this one but work through that ankle movement. Get as much as you can. And as you do this one, you should feel your heart rate and your breathing recovering. Right, last few seconds. Good. Well done, and you're done, good work. I hope you feel ready to take on your day and your year now. So go out, do something positive and be productive. If you enjoyed today's routine, please give it a like by clicking the thumbs up button below to help this channel grow and be sure to check out the other exercise videos by clicking the link in the description below. That only leaves me to say, stay active, keep moving and I'll see you next week.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video today, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click here to subscribe to this channel or click here to watch a recent video. See you soon.